Hello Facebook. Hello YouTube. Welcome to my Kenya home this sunny Thursday here in the heart of Kenya. Very nice to be back with you. I was just saying to our friends here on Instagram, it's so peaceful. I'm all on my own today and all you can hear is bird song. Can you hear the birds? And the odd bee buzzing, the odd pollinator. It's lovely, it just makes me want to sort of chill out really. But we've got to crack on because we've got things to talk about. We've got guests to chat to. We've got interesting topics to explore. We've got questions to answer. Hi, Carol. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Jan. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's, um, it's a nice day. The clouds are gathering, actually. You can see. Now, OK, so I've done this for you guys. I have turned my cameras around today. Normally, if I'm here, I'll face the other way. So you get kind of not such a nice view of the wall, but it's actually better for me because it's all about light. And if I sit this way, I get the light on my face, which is kind of very flattering and very youthful. Um, whereas if I sit with my back to the light, then, you know, every little shadow and bag shows up a bit more. But I thought, do you know what? We're all friends here and no one's going to say anything horrid and it's much better that I share this lovely view with everybody rather than give you a view of the wall. So that's why I have turned my camera around. So today, what are we going to be talking about? Well, as I hinted on Tuesday when we had a big kind of hair tutorial, wasn't that interesting? I hope you caught that. Everything to do with fine thinning hair, how and why hair ages, what to do to help conceal it, help treat it, etc. So today we're going to be looking inside thank you very much uh, we're going to be looking at our microbiome so we're going to be continuing that discussion and I really want to kind of drill down into some of the specifics here so talk about things like probiotics which you've heard me bang on about for so many years but also things like prebiotics and postbiotics did you know there were such things and they are super important. In fact, while I've been here, and I should say, I am not on holiday. I know it looks lovely and it's very nice to be here and it's very relaxing, um, but I am working flat out actually. And in some ways harder than ever because there's no distractions, so I can just really focus. So I've had all my podcasting equipment um, out with me and I've been recording podcasts and some fascinating ones coming up. There was a new one actually of the Lizard Wellbeing show that went live yesterday so however you get your podcasts if you're Spotify, Acast, iTunes, whatever it's it's up on all the platforms and obviously on Liz our Wellbeing website if you want to download it from there. Uh, yesterday's was all about acne with the wonderful cosmetic aesthetic consultant doctor she's just a legend i love her dr ifyoma and in fact she's also a columnist now for lizard wellbeing for the magazine yeah so i'm not sure if her article is her first article was actually in this issue i think it might be let me just check health and beauty yeah here we go page 25 if you've got your copy so this is the lovely ifyoma isn't she gorgeous um, not only is she very lovely to look at, but she is super clever at what she does, massively well qualified medically. And I talked to her really to expand on this feature that we wrote about acne and adult acne, because it can occur pretty much at any age. We tend to think of it as a you know, young person's skin problem, but so many of us get troubled skin later in life. And it's of course all to do with hormones and lifestyle. And as we age, we can get all sorts of different skin issues. Anyway, help is at hand, as they say. And she talks about lots of different things, including an ingredient called salicylic acid, which is, sounds a bit scary, but actually it's fine on the skin. And my wonderful health and beauty editor, then wrote this great feature all about salicylic acid and lots of different uh, products that you can try ranging from the pricey to the inexpensive. So if that's an issue for you, do please take a listen. It's up on the podcast hub now. It's the Liz Our Wellbeing Show. It's episode two of our new season. So very excited about that. And uh, obviously, if you've got your magazine, then you can also read all about those resources. By the way, I should just say that if you are wanting to subscribe to the magazine, there is a brand new subscription gift that's gone live. Again, we're covering lots on hair because it's such a hot topic for so many of us. And this is the wonderful strengthening 
scalp concentrate from Percy and Reed. So they've given us, um, it's flying out of the door as our subscription gifts always do, but they have given us some. Uh, and that is, let me just check on my notes here. Yeah, it's worth £25. So if you subscribe to the magazine on direct debit, you get that absolutely free. And of course, it's not just for you if you want to give a gift subscription, but you'd like to have the gift yourself, or maybe you're going to be generous and give the magazine and the gift. Um, that's entirely your choice. You just need to let the people at Warner's know. Warner's are a lovely British company that handle all our magazine subscriptions, and you can call them. They've got lovely call centre people uh, who are based in the UK, who answer the phone and are very efficient. And you can also to email them so the details are all on the website lazarwellbeing.com so that is the free gift at the moment but it is flying because it is a lovely one another of my favorite hair care brands actually british brands percy and reed okay so thank you very much just a few fashion questions coming in before we crack on with our microbes yeah so this dress you know i knew that when i wore this dress it's a really really fine thin sort of voily dress with a little um, petticoat underneath so it's not too see-through uh, and I thought oh my goodness I'm going to get questions about this so I hunted for a label turned it inside out every which way and then I remembered that it was actually my local dressmaker down in the west country who made it for me so I bought this fabric I love this really fine sort of silky chiffon from an amazing fabric shop in London in North London called Joel Joel and Sons I think it is and they provide amazing couture fabrics to the queen and all sorts of top couturiers so if ever you're in that part of the world if you're into dressmaking or looking at amazing fabrics even just remnants you can get for scarves and things they've got a fantastic remnant bin that I sometimes go and rummage in if I'm passing so yeah Joel and Sons um, are very very good and I remember buying this fabric years and years ago and then just taking it to my local dressmaker and saying you know could you do me a really simple little slip dress so I'm sorry it's not on any website or anything but that is the story behind it and actually this I found this in my cupboard one of the nice things about coming back to my family home here after a couple of years is finding all these things that I'd forgotten about and this I want to show you this because this is really fun look got it caught around my mangrove. I might have to take my little mangrove stud out. I'll show you those again in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely little sustainable jeweler here in Kenya and she collects feathers. So these are guinea fowl feathers. Guinea fowls kind of run around wild here and I love them. They're, they're just so pretty and they're so much fun to look at. And so she makes these little sort of ear, ear cuffs, I guess they are, and you just sort of wear them like that. So, whoops, where does it go? Need a mirror. Let me do it like that. There we are. Um, but what a really fun thing. And I think she uses sort of women's cooperatives and gets them all the different feathers and little beads and things to make them. But they're just quite fun, aren't they? You know, if you're just going to pull your hair back in a ponytail or you've got short hair um, and you just want to sort of, you know, brighten things up a bit. So I've teamed it actually with my mangrove studs. I don't know if I can put this one back in. Where did the butterfly go? Typical, I've dropped it. Never mind, I'll find it later. So I'll have to just have that in one ear and my mangrove in the other. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? So this, um, and she's got all this lovely sort of sustainable packaging. So I don't know if she sells online. She might do. She's called Capoeta. K-A-P-O-E-T-A. -E do you see that? Capoeta. And she just sells them in these little, little packs. And it's called an ear cuff. So I think she's got a website. Yeah, Capoeta by Ambika, I think that's her name, A-M-B-I-C-A, -A, Capoeta by Ambika.com. So, you know, if you fancy looking her up, or maybe you're in Kenya already, maybe you know her. I know lots of my followers are already in Kenya, or they're heading out here, or they've got friends out here, so look her up. Bring some back to sell. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? I think I got it when I was down at the coast, and I'm going to be going back to the coast um, for half term. So, yeah, I'll see if I can find them. Yeah, ear cuffs, lot of fun. Right, let's crack on with our main subject of the day, shall we? And microbial health. And I'm going to be joined by Katie, who is part of a legacy family down in the West Country in Somerset, where they've been farming microbes. Sounds really interesting, doesn't it? Farming microbes for quite a while now. And I've talked about them before. They're called microbes, if you want to look them up online. So that's microbes with a Z at the end. We do have a Liz Loves, obviously, with them. So let me just double check the details on that. So 10% off everything. Um, so yeah, check them out because they've got lots and lots of good things 
on their website. Yeah, they're on your doorstep, are they, in Somerset? Well, let's see whether we can get them across the continents. Hopefully this will work. They have message to say that they're online. So hopefully this will be Katie Ward. Hello. Hello. And you are here. How are you doing? I'm going to adjust my phone so that I can get both of us on the screen. Obviously, I'm afraid Facebook and YouTube can't see you, but they can hear you. And I know that we're going to have a fascinating discussion. Are you talking to us from Somerset? Yes, I'm at home at the moment. Um, and I think I'm kind of matching your chilled vibe. I was really enjoying that and feeling your relaxation vibe. Yeah, um, I, I my am dad chilled. Was born in Kenya, so um, you what? Sorry. Quite a lot of our, my dad was born in Kenya. Really? Um, yeah. Whereabouts? Do you know? Was he up country or uh, on the just coast? Just outside Kitale. Kitale. I'm not sure where Kitale is. Is that coast or is that northern? I'm pretty sure it's near the mountains. But um, yeah, I think... we actually spend. He loves Africa, mm. but we spend quite a lot of our time now in Zambia rather than. Nice. Zambia. We haven't so much gone back to Kenya. Do you know? I've never been to Zambia, but there's there's so much. I've been to Tanzania and um, southern Sudan and Uganda and Malawi and Ethiopia and South Africa. But Africa is vast. And it's very different, isn't it? You know, east and west. I'm, I'm kind of more yeah. east. I haven't really ventured west. My, my middle son, Kit, he's just off on an archaeological adventure to explore rock art, this ancient, ancient rock art in the Sahara Desert. Wow, which will be amazing. really amazing. He's going, you know, like with people from the British Museum, and he's he's really into his ancient history. That's that's what he's reading at, at uni. So, I think he's going to come back really inspired. So, I'm looking <laughs> forward to looking at his Instagram. I don't think he's got any signal in the Sahara, so he's going to have to save all his pictures for when he gets back. But anyway, enough of all this lovely Africa file chat. Tell us a little bit. Whoops, my ear cuff's fallen out. Tell us a little bit about your background and your family with microbes. So, did your father? Do you think being in Africa gave him an insight into into gut health or kind of wellness? Well, his dad had quite a big farm. And um, he's always been connected to the land. So yeah. when we first moved back to the, when he first came to the UK, which was a lot later because he went from Africa to Australia and then right. sailed, was a sailor for many years. And when he first came to the UK, um, he just always was after land. And when we bought this place, one of the main reasons was because it has quite a lot of land. So he's always had this connection to the land and he, loves going back to Africa it just it feels like his homeland yeah. um but that's obviously where the, the soil microbes come from and I think what's inspiring about dad is he just has a dedication to soil as like the basis of life and yeah you know we're just learning so much more about how important soil is and sadly we haven't got um our soils are really badly degraded especially in the UK True. and um part of that is because they are losing their microbes so um you know that's another crusade of ours <laughs> but um no we we really definitely value the land and value it for where our food comes from and where our health comes from as yeah. kind of a basis yeah that's really interesting i think a lot of people don't realize that our soil is teeming with microbes and I, I read a statistic that said there were more microbes in a teaspoon of soil the billions of them than there are people on the planet which yeah, you, you can't even soil, yeah. in healthy soil i mean you can't even get your head around that the no. billions the billions of microbes in a teaspoon of soil of healthy and rich soil which presumably you have on your farm yeah i mean exactly that the the problem is that it's quite becoming harder and harder to find this kind of healthy um organic you know soil because we have used so many chemicals and so many pesticides so and even if we don't think that they get into our systems it's our belief that they do and they do affect our health and our definitely microbiome, our physical microbiome um yeah definitely i was recording a podcast actually with a senior researcher over in america just last night and we were talking about phthalates and BPA and all these sort of chemicals that have come into the environment, and a lot of them from pesticides as well, and about how they are just so endemic. They're just all around us all the time. We can't escape them. And, you know, we can obviously try and limit, but, you know, our poor gut and our gut bacteria, if you look at how 
the degenerative diseases and obesity issues and the mental health crisis and the cancer rates and all of that is has just skyrocketed in recent decades and you know we are sort of slowly quietly poisoning ourselves without really being aware of it and it you know it may be faster for some people for others it may be a bit of a slow burn but I think when you start to re-look at how we can simply repopulate our microbiome and really give it a bit of care and attention and it doesn't take much does it I mean it's you know it might be just a spoonful of one of your liquids or you know some probiotic yogurt or whatever you know it we're not it's not a big ask to do but that little thing Think about the billion microbes in a teaspoon of soil. You know, that little thing can have such a massive impact. I mean, you must have seen that with your work. Oh, definitely. And we get people, we get lovely responses a lot from people who have had a massive difference. And that's partly why we say to people, even if you don't have a really significant, severe gut health issue, Mm. it's beneficial to be taking a probiotic because of all the chemicals that we have in our food and we have in our environment. So this kind of slow poisoning we can um, maximise our response to that mm. by keeping our bodies healthy and by introducing probiotics. So it might help you limit kind of diseases in the future if you maintain that microbiome. So yeah. like you say, little bit, little and often, yeah. um, doesn't have to be a dramatic change, but it's our belief that that really supports and stabilises against the free radicals and the, and the chemicals and the things that yeah. are in our environment. Yeah, well, for those on Facebook and YouTube, you can't see Katie, but she's absolutely glowing. She's the vision, vision of great health, <laughs> despite the grey winter. It's in... funny you say that because I'm on day six of a seven day juice fast, so that might are be why you? I'm feeling so. <sighs> Interesting. So what are you doing? Are you literally just having juices? Are you doing anything else alongside? Juices, a little bit of miso soup. But um, yeah, I'm really feeling very grounded. And um, yeah, it's really, um, it's yeah. been an interesting week. So. Fabulous. And are you still taking your mi- microbes alongside that? Yes, definitely. Definitely still take my microbes. I have, um, I, d- I take them every day. Yeah. Well, I, I was yeah. I having this conversation um, with a friend because she was kind of laughing at all the stuff that I'd brought out to Kenya with me. And I said, well, you know, a lot of it's for work <laughs> and it's for research. I'm trying new things as well. Um, but actually, there are some key things. And I'm just about to pop a video up on YouTube, actually, on the key things that I travel with. And they are things I say that, oops, put this on properly, um, that earn space in my case. OK, I thought that was quite a good little ah, ditty. Okay. Space in my case. And your microbes have earned space in my case. In fact, I've got three of oh, them. I'm delighted to hear that. Yeah, yeah, oh, they're great. here. They're, they're all here. And I know oh, there's great. another one which we're going to be talking about today. So where should we start, really? I mean, what, what did your family start with? So your microbes are different from other brands. And, you know, I first came across Katie's family's brand mm. a couple of years ago when I was doing a lot of research, obviously, into gut health, having written books on the subject. Um, and what really impressed me is that they're different because they are very broad spectrum. I think you've got 15 different strains of beneficial bacteria in, in each bottle combined with other things. So they're, they're really very broad and diverse, which is one of the keys. But you're getting them from the soil. You're like your 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 microbe farmers, aren't you? Which yeah. is extraordinary. How does that work exactly? I mean, you don't just go out literally and sort of shovel bits of soil, do you? No, we have to. We put something. We we dig down to a certain depth because um, the depth is important. And then we put something in for a couple of days that that um, introduce the microbes or that attract the microbes. So um, we leave it in the soil for a decent amount of time and we put something in it's basically a start the microbes like will come to for feeding so we are kind of harvesting them yeah. and then we pull that out of the ground and we um we put it through a, a series of processes to ferment it and i would right. say um one of the reasons why we're different is it's i would say is our ethos so we don't believe in we sequence our microbes we know the microbes that are in our products we test them regularly but we don't believe in taking a specific microbe out of that microbial soup. We believe that health is um, is beneficial when we just take what's in nature and we ferment it so there's more microbes and we right. deliver that so that we let the microbes in the body decide um, what is best for the health of the person. So um, our ethos in that is, is kind of that we... we we trust nature and we trust that 
you know, nature has been doing this for billions, billions more years. It's another eye-watering statistic about how long microbes have been on this planet. Gosh, a lot longer than us. Yeah. And therefore, we trust that they built all this. So why should they? Why should we know better than they do? That's very interesting. So you, your approach is really very holistic. Then you know you're not yeah. kind of growing microbes and then say, okay, actually lactobacillus, that's the one that we want. We'll take that out. You're letting them all live together in harmony in in a complex, which is why you've got such and a good range. And what I like is and that you go on. That the um, the sum is better. The sum of the parts is is more than the the individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can totally believe that. You know, having podcasted recently with various. Ayurvedic practitioners looking at Western and Eastern medicine and and cultures, the whole of the plant, it, you know, you, you can oh. kind of go down oh. the wrong direction if you just extract it. I mean, that's what modern Western medicine does. It says, oh, we'll just take that little bit. But actually, it's not working perhaps in a synergistic way with the body that we were designed to work with. You know, we were designed to work in nature with all these amazing things around us. That's what the body responds to. And actually, exactly. you know, taking out that little bit. I was always reminded by um, a naturopath who once said to me, you know, don't drink decaffeinated coffee because actually coffee is a plant. It's a bean and you should have the whole thing. You know, if you I mean, leaving aside all the issues of solvent extraction and all of that, you know, even if you water extract, you're still just taking that one bit and it's actually better to have the whole thing so I now and yeah. I used to I used to drink decaf in the evening thinking well I don't want the caffeine but now actually I just drink sort of herb tea in, in the evenings and have my have my proper strong it's coffee it's favorite thing to say that aspirin is, is exactly the same thing it's made from a, a, a specific part of the plant whereas if you take the whole plant there's something within the plant that will line your stomach will help you from having any um, side effects from the aspirin so oh, interesting yeah, that's exactly the path that we're yeah, it provides the protection as well as as well as the cure. Really interesting. So going back in time then, so your parents, they came back to the UK, they bought this amazing organic farm in Somerset. Presumably, you know, it had been farmed naturally for a while. Have you got a sort of good history of soil over there? Yes, it, yes. It, um, it hasn't actually ever been intensively farmed. Great. And there's quite a lot of woodland. So it's, um, it's a mixture of woodland and fields. And we actually have never farmed it. So we've been here for 25 years. Um, so, you know, there's, there's areas that are rewilded, um, there's areas that are kind of areas of woodland and areas that have some, just some sheep grazing on there. So yeah, we've never tilled it or, um, right. we just harvest the microbes. Just harvest there. the microbes. Um, Don't you love that? How, how much space would you need to have a microbe farm? I wonder, I mean, could people do it in their gardens in the future? Not much space. Yeah. yeah. Not much space. And actually, you know, we would love to see. It's not our wish to own this technology. We would love to see people all over the country doing this. Amazing. That's one of my... Amazing. I love it. So the, the liquids, you've got lots of different ones. Which one did you start with? What was your sort of hero? And, and you know, people listening here are going to be oh. thinking, I'm going to get into this. You know, I'm going to want to have my spoonful of microbes every morning. Which is the one that would be the starter option, do you think? Okay, so the starter option... The starter option would be the Revive. Revive. Um, I've got that here. That's good. That was lucky yeah. that you said that. <laughs> the Gold is the one that we first created. Okay, so that's this one. We've learned quite a lot from that. So the Revive is the one that we recommend. If you have any any gut health issues, if you're currently suffering with any kind of bloating, IBS, constipation, yeah, um, acid reflux, um, herbaceous hernia, anything like that, then it's the revive to start with. And the reason for that is because it has the L-glutamine and the slippery almond. So Does it? Like L-glutamine. So t talk to me about that. Is that an amino acid, L-glutamine? It is, yeah. It's an amino acid that is naturally made in most people's bodies, but which most people are deficient of. And the yeah. job of the um, L-glutamine is to support the gut lining, so to support the intestinal tract, actually from the mouth to the bottom. So you have a single cell lining from your mouth to your bottom, and the L-glutamine and the slippery arm's job is to really protect that lining. So we, nice. we like to say that your body is only made up of what you can eat and then absorb. And it's the microbe's job for your body to absorb things. Those are the That's the gateway, really, mm -hmm. between food and body. And they 
break everything down and make it into your health and your body. So that's why the microbes are important because they help the body to absorb the L-glutamine and the slippery elm and there's lots of other ingredients there that are balanced by our medical Brilliant. herbalists to support the gut lining. I, so I, uh, one of my children has quite severe IBS at the moment, actually, and I might have to donate this bottle because I think it, it, yeah. it will be very needed. How do we take it? Do you need to take it on an empty stomach? Do you take it first thing in the day? What, what's the plan? Ideally, you would take it ju just before breakfast, 10 minutes before breakfast or something. But if you forget and you're rushing out the door, I'd always say it's better to take it. I am not regimented about when I take mine or when the kids have theirs. It's just, you know... So the, the, the whole family can have it. The whole family, you can feed. So, I mean, I've, I've got a little bit of Very apple gentle. and turmeric juice with, that I made this morning with a bit of uh, water. Could I add it into that? Could I, could I, I do add that, a, yes, and especially for the kids. Um, Great, yeah, I'm going to do that mine. right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had mine. Um, and what, like a capful, a tablespoonful, that kind of thing? I do a capful. A capful, yeah. okay, here we go. Um, I'm actually a bit, you know, liberal with it. <laughs> but um, a capful is, is what, all that you need. Like Lovely. you said, little and often. And is it sort of like a kind of apple cider vinegary kind of flavour? Yes, exactly. It's um, it's supposed to be slightly slightly fizzy because it is a living liquid. Um, we've been and then yes, mm, it, nice. it has a bit of a kind of kombucha taste. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. I mean, you can barely taste it in the in the juice, actually, but yeah, I get a little a little hit from that. So you say that you give it to your children. So you know, for any age, elderly parents, you know, youngsters. Yeah. What 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 would you say about that? Yeah, so on the um, on the dosage, it's uh, any any of the products can be taken under five mil for children. And my two had um, had their microbes from six months old, just a tiny little bit, tiny or drop. After yeah. they stopped breastfeeding, in their um, formula milk, they'd have a, a yeah. little bit. Um, and Amazing! It's really important for Magic kids to stuff. have microbes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know if anybody uh, here listened to my podcast with Lucinda Miller, lovely naturopath I recorded last week. It was on the Friday Five. Do take a listen if you haven't already, because we were talking about pans and pandas, and um, that's the inflammation of the brain, not the wild animal, and how that is linked to gut and the breakdown of the gut lining, particularly in children who've had any kind of bacterial infection, um, COVID, you know, how that can inflame the brain and how our gut microbes can make us far more resilient. So, you know, if you're somebody who's suffering, improving your microbial activity can help you recover, but also it can help your immunity so that you don't suffer in the first place, which is, you know, so important because we're going to have to get used to living with all these different viruses ongoing and we need to protect ourselves and give us the best opportunity to do that don't you think definitely and it needs to not be a like oh no this is here let's protect ourselves now yeah but let's get strong now sustained you know and and as we learn about um as we learn more i hope that more people will be doing more to just protect their health and their family's health and and yeah. kind of start little and often yeah. um so that they don't have to put big band-aids over stuff when they no. finally when, they, when something happens. When something happens. You know, that's what I love about all these things and your your products in particular is it's just a small amount every morning, so easy, so safe, so effective, so beneficial. You know, I mean, you, you can't can't fail, really. So, so that's the Revive. So that's our starter pack. Um, yeah. So I am going to be putting that to one side for a certain member of my family, definitely. <laughs> Great. Um, and then, why have you got all the others? So we've got here BioLive Gold, we've got BioLive <laughs> Sleep. I know you've got BioLive yeah. Fitness, which is your new one. <laughs> so it's partly because we have an overactive. My dad is overactive, and we have a medical herbalist who we work with who just loves putting stuff together. So that's partly why we have so many concoctions. But basically, the the microbes do the same thing in every brew. They add more beneficial microbes to the microbiome, and they support diversity. And then the herbs and minerals have been curated by a um, medical herbalist who looks again at the whole body and the issue of sleep or hormones or liver function and picks selected herbs. And as I mentioned earlier, it's all about what your body can assimilate and absorb. So the microbiome, that it doesn't really matter how many supplements you're taking if your microbiome is not in good health. You won't absorb as much as you could do if you had a balanced 
diverse microbiome, yeah. which will help your body to absorb more. So that's the microbes. And then it's kind of like a lunchbox, all these herbs. That, that way the microbes have what they need to support liver detoxifying or to support sleep or to support mm. the lung system. And they're, they're all traditional herbs. Yeah. In the in the breeds, you'll see there's peppermint and licorice and all things that traditionally soothe the lungs. So you've got that nice. as well as the microbes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the, the sleep one here and there's some absolute favourites in here, um, you know, very well known, I'm sure, things like linden blossom, valerian. lavender, valerian, passion flower. You know, these are all the ones that we know are very calming and very just kind of take down the cortisol yeah. levels, take down the stress. Um, mm. So you could sort of mix and match then, couldn't you? I guess you could depend yes, definitely. what, I what you felt match, like um, doing. Yeah. Definitely. And there's one that I remember we talked about before, which was really fascinating, which was kind of almost a menopausal one, one for, for, yeah, for midlife one for women. women yeah. So what's that got oh, in it that's have, different? So that's got Dong, got Dong Kwai, it's got um, uh, lots of maca root, it's got lots of... Maca. Support. We talked a lot about maca here. Very health. good. Yeah. I wish I could remember ginseng. Mm. Just the idea is it kind of cradles a woman and supports them hormonally where they are. Yeah. So it's not about, you know, it's about treating the person in the place that they're at rather mm -hmm. than... Yeah. And presumably know, they're, they're gluten-free, are they? I've just seen a question there on Instagram. Um, the, they are gluten-free. The Revive has a... Yeah, they're, they are gluten-free, yeah. yes. The um, Revive isn't vegan because it has a, a small crustacean in it, but the rest of them are. Mm, okay, interesting. And I guess anybody with any particular health issues... Do you have kind of online support? Can people direct message you? Yes, How can definitely. people find out? So on our website, you can either contact our nutritional herbalist or you can con contact a nutritionist. So there's a website form on the website where you can contact them and it's a free service. They can get back to you with the your symptoms, the product that they would recommend. Nice. Um, yeah, we, we, we like to make sure that people have someone they can talk to on that basis. Yeah. Um, and we have the fitness. Fitness, yeah. Let, let, let's talk about fitness because I'm, I'm trying to up my fitness regime while I'm here a little bit. Um, and yes, uh, Jilly, there is a Liz Loves. So 10%. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Liz Loves, all in capitals, all one word, as usual. So, and that is that right across your website? She says rather greedily. Yes, yeah, so actually you can buy <laughs> microbes for cleaning, microbes for gardening, microbes for pets. So microbes for pets. All of our other oh my goodness! I'm going to have to get something for botanical bears as a little present, little microbial present. So let's talk about fitness then. So this is your latest one. Um, what have you got yes, in there? Fun. So this is all about elast and repair. So all of the things in here are all about helping the microbes to support your body to repair after exercise. Okay. Um, so we've got in here marine collagen. We've got electrolytes. Um, we've got a herb called Gota Cola, which is all about focus. Yes, so Gota Cola, absolutely. I know that. I was working, um, I was doing a podcast with uh, Tim Samuels. In fact, I think he was on Instagram Live last week. And one of his br uh, blends for, I think it's energy, has Gota Cola. And he was explaining how good that is for, for energy and, and kind of fitness recovery. Yeah. Um, and then it, I think it's another... Um, 25 herbs and minerals um, wow. marine collagen so the idea is we had some really good feedback we had a guy who used to train the hockey london hockey um uk hockey team um and he said that it really helped him with his stamina and it also really helped him repair pectoral muscles so any Ooh. kind of muscles tears um nice. and we think that's just a kind of general decrease in inflammation which helps the body to train harder and it helps the so the the elastin repair of the collagen and the and the, and the um, dealing with inflammation will help with your fitness regime. Fantastic. So if anybody is thinking about rebooting their fitness regime at the beginning of the year, maybe starting something like Qigong. I was talking to Katie Brindle the other day about that. That was really interesting. Um, and doing sort of gentle things. But, you know, that's interesting mm -hmm. that you can do that on a physical level, kind of thinking about yeah. muscles and energy as well as, helping the microbiome and all these amazing gut bugs at the same time but I have to say you know I'm I'm really drawn to the revive as the starter 
particularly, as you say, for anybody with gut issues. You know, you talked about IBS and bloating, acid reflux. You know, I mean, there are just so many conditions. And I know that you're using here the slippery elm and the turmeric, as well as all these little microbes. And slippery elm is just such a remarkable ingredient, isn't it? I mean, it's, I guess it kind of, even the name of it makes you think, oh, slippery elm, it's going to kind of slip down the esophagus and coat everything in this really gentle, nurturing ingredient, which is exactly what it does, isn't it? Yes, it just coats the whole system, soothes and repairs, and yeah, it's that kind of inside cuddle. <laughs> An inside cuddle, lovely. So your your dear dad, what's he working on now? Is 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 he allowed to step away from all the blends, or is he continually going? No, Katie, I've got another one. <laughs> no, so his his big focus at the moment is about agriculture. So we're just talking, starting to talk to farmers about mm. large scale use of microbes, probiotic on farmland. Amazing. Um, so yeah, we're hoping that that's going. We've got some really interesting. Um, people we're working with and it's kind of good timing there's lots of people working in the regeneration yeah agriculture regen space and microbes has kind of been missed out of that conversation about soil health so that's so yeah, that's our latest thing so interesting i mean i'm i'm an advocate for the soil association and being connected to them for you know 25 years or more and they have a big obviously the name the soil association but they do have a big campaign about regenerating soils and do you think is there evidence to say that if we can regenerate our soils and, and put more microbes back into them that actually it can do things like increase yields of crops yes i mean we see that in our um in my mum's polytunnels and stuff and then we've done quite a few trials we're starting to do more trials on the on it helps plants to grow stronger helps them to naturally fight off diseases we've got lots of um plants with roots out and we're measuring them and we're in the process of kind of working that out but um again it's a it's a whole system shift and um yeah. i think it's it's a bit risky for farmers because you can't guarantee you know it's going to be a certain way whereas with a chemical you can say every time you put it on it's going to be this result so yeah but then you get resistance area. to you know in pesticide resistance and soil depletion and mm -hmm. not to mention the impact of what it's actually doing to us to eat those crops that have been grown in it depleted soil you know has fewer nutrients you know one of the reasons we all need a bit more magnesium is that we're getting less in our mm -hmm. depleted soils and then you get all the you know the toxic pesticide residues as a kind of added bonus, you know, so it's... Um, can I ask you actually just about farming and, and, and agriculture? You mentioned about using these for pets. What about putting them actually into our own soils? Could you dilute them and spray them onto like house plants or on your window box? Well, we have exactly products for that. So we have a whole range for gardens. Really? From your kitchen waste bucket to weed protectors and plant protectors that are all for household use that are all gardening range so um so so and that in there is a plant boost you could spray that on your house plants there's also a soil conditioner but it's microbes and a few other good things for soil together that you can plant soil before you plant I'm so I'm so going to be getting that because I, I I moved house not that long ago, and I'm having to start from scratch with my vegetable garden. So I've got some beds that are all ready, and I, I managed to put in a few oh, broad beans. Them. Thank you. I'd, I'd love that because I I put, I put my beans in thinking that when I get back from Kenya they might be coming up, um, but you know I don't know what the condition of the soil is like. I should do a soil test really. I should do a soil sample and see, um, but I'm sure it's not going to be full of all the amazing microbes that it could be. So that would be a good time, wouldn't it, to um, to condition the yeah, soil? Yeah, definitely a good time to put that on the soil. And again, we're just about moving into spring, so it's a, it's a great time to start with your soil conditioner. And then when we've started to dip seeds as well into microbes before we plant them. So really? So that, that just coats the seed before it goes in. Um, and then also spraying when they come up. So my mum has built the most incredibly beautiful garden all with completely natural, all with mostly microbes. And what we find that we love is more wildlife comes back. We find that we get much more bees, much more butterflies, because wow. they're just attracted to this invisible microbial world. Do you know there's so much going on that we don't see? That, you know, things like the pollinators and, and the wildlife, the birds, the bees, the, the invisible, even little insects that we don't know, but they are so aware of it on a level that we're completely unaware of. 
Isn't that just fascinating? Yeah. I'm so wanting to come and see you. I mean, I wanted to come and see you and then we oh. got locked down and all of that and I Great. couldn't, you know, nobody could travel. But, you know, when I get back, it would just be so amazing. Maybe I could come and, I don't know, do some filming or something and pop a little film up on, on, on YouTube just to bring to life what you're doing because it sounds, I mean, your parents sound remarkable and what a lovely legacy, what a, an amazing family to be involved with. <laughs> Have you got other family members involved as well? What about your children? I guess they're a bit too small. My big brother. My big brother, um, kind of, he he comes in every now and again and says, "Oh, you need to do that with your branding." But he works in TV in London, um, and um, and then it's just the kids who like running around here. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I I love working with my parents. It's been it's been a blessing. Fantastic, fantastic. Katie, it's such a joy to talk to you. Thank you so Thank much you for, having me. for being so Thank informative you. and and so brilliant. I'll give everybody the details again and don't forget that you can go onto the microbes website and ask questions like and question. chat. Can you? That's great. And you obviously you're on Instagram. Do you have a Facebook page? Yes, Instagram and Facebook, please. Great. If you have any questions with great. anything, give us a shout. Have fantastic. A Thank you Bye. and you take care. Bye bye. Well, 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 how fascinating. Who knew that they have all those things for pets and for plants and for gardens and amazing, amazing. Yeah, I agree with you, Lemony Crosby. What an amazing place for children to grow up in. Absolutely fascinating. So as Katie said, there's the Liz Loves 10% right across their website. Go and check them out. The household cleaning products are also really interesting. If you fancy being a little bit greener, and I have to tell you, after listening to a couple of my podcasts coming up, you will definitely be wanting to explore the natural world a little bit more. This is the one, perhaps to start with, if you're brand new, BioLive Revive. This is the one with the slippery elm for the gut and turmeric and peppermint. And this is the one also that Katie said had the L-glutamine the amino acid L-glutamine. If you want to know more about that, do look it up online. And you can also obviously get more information direct. And how very nice that you can email them directly for all um, medical questions. So fantastic. And I, you, I know you can't see on Facebook, I'm sorry, um, and YouTube, but there have been some amazing comments. I've just been keeping a little eye on them going up here on Instagram of people who've already tried. I think I did a, a, a live with Katie maybe last summer and obviously a lot of people here in this community started using microbes and have had amazing results the one thing that you shouldn't do is keep them in the fridge and i know this firsthand because i had this and i started taking it and then i did a little uh, instagram of what was in my fridge <laughs> and i'd put it in the fridge and katie messaged me and she said ah liz no you mustn't put it in the fridge because that kind of sends the microbes to sleep doesn't kill them but it sends them to sleep so actually they're much better just at room temperature like we are I mean you can imagine you know they're living little things aren't they so being shoved in a fridge 24 7 isn't going to be very helpful so anyway that's the one so I'm going to give that to a certain person and then I don't know I'm halfway through this one BioLive Gold so I think I might continue that one and then maybe the sleep but actually I have to say I'm sleeping quite well at the moment so I think thanks to certain other things that I've got with me like my slumber drops and all of that so yeah so this one is going to be my daily one right before I go I mentioned at the beginning we had a few other little things that might be helpful along the way and talking about digestive upsets and your who is this talking about rashes on your face okay so a rash is often a sign of inflammation so you might want to drill down and, and look at what's going on with your microbiome and, and try and soothe and ease that inflammation. Um, so this is a company that I also really love. I've bought these products for years, literally decades. It's a great British company. It's called BioCare. And they have lots of very good nutrients if you're looking for you know specific vitamins, minerals, that kind of thing. And this I really like for gut health. And again... This has L-glutamine in it. Isn't that interesting? Recurring theme here, L-glutamine to soothe the gut. And it also has various uh, probiotics. It's got bifidobacteria. It's got lactobacillus. It's got alpha-lipoic acid. All sorts of fascinating things to support the gut membrane and our immune system. And this is actually a powder. Um, can you see it in here? I don't want to spill it everywhere but I don't know if you can see, but there's a powder that you just put in some water and it dissolves. And that is very good. So if you do have IBS, 
um, then I think this would be very useful. So if you want more information, there is a Liz Loves, so BioCare, 15% off everything on their website, which is super generous, um, and that's the BioCare website. And they also have a huge number of resources. They've got lots of blogs, lots of um, people online standing by that you can talk to on the phone or you can email, a bit like Katie at Microbes. And if you've got specific health concerns, I strongly suggest that you talk to BioCare because they have been in this game for decades and they make very, very good quality supplements, which I do like across the board, okay? So that is BioCare and a really good one for the gut. The other thing that I take um, pretty regularly, you might have seen it pop up on my Instagram every now and then, is my little sachets of Bimuno. So these are great for traveling. So I've got loads of them in my bag. I have them everywhere. And again, you don't really taste it. You can pop it into tea or coffee or a shake or anything. And what Bimuno is, it's a little bit different. It's a prebiotic. So what we've been talking about now, up until now, have been the probiotics here. Yeah, the probiotics, the actual bugs themselves. So what a prebiotic does, it's a bit like fertilizer. It feeds your bugs. So once you've got all these lovely bugs, then you want to feed them and look after them. And that's what this does. This contains something like called GOSS, um, which, oh, my brain isn't working properly to tell you exactly what it is, uh, pronounce it, but um, it's basically oligosaccharides. And it's very good. It's, it's food, basically, for microbes, microbe food. Um, and so using that in conjunction with your probiotics is a really good thing because it just nourishes your gut, it nourishes your microbes. And, you know, the more I learn about the microbes, the more I realise that they are so crucial. They are our friends. We just need to look after them, just like we need to nurture our friends generally. Yeah, we need to support our community. We really need to support our community of microbes inside us. And they get so damaged by things like sugar, stress, alcohol, environmental pollution. All of that stuff is just depleting them. And we need to replenish day on day. And if we look after them, they will look after us. That's the deal. So it's really simple. Okay, so a few other things before I leave you. You might have spotted, actually, when I did my little Instagram um, trail behind the scenes, I just quickly showed Leapfrog Immune. I thought this would be useful because I'm getting lots and lots of questions about COVID and long COVID and immune system and all of that. If you've not tried it, it's worth trying, okay? It's quite pricey, but what you can do is you can get a small little mini strip just as a trial. And I highly recommend it if you get the first sign of a sniffle, cough, cold, whatever it is, any kind of cough, cold, flu bug. This is lactoferrin. Lactoferrin, super important for the immune system. So I travel with these now. This is a mixture of lactoferrin with zinc and vitamin C. I don't tend to take it all the time because it is quite pricey and I feel that I'm quite fit and well at the moment. Um, but I had somebody staying with me at the weekend who was not feeling so great. I gave her, she had this night and morning so much better um, so again we do have a Liz Loves uh, which is really helpful even on the little mini uh, section I'm just looking them up they're called Leapfrog Immune okay Leapfrog Immune you'll find all of these on the website anyway Liz our well-being website um, and you get 15% off again with the Liz Loves so just throwing that out there in case they are useful a couple of things before I go obviously we're running up to Valentine's Day so I won't be back with you live before that Valentine's Day is on Monday I have got a podcast going out on Friday talking all about the importance of fair trade flowers so if you're going to be giving or receiving some lovely red roses, perhaps, really important to be aware of where they came from. And uh, so do take a listen to that. Look out for the fair trade label. Um, lots of flowers, obviously, here in Kenya. Kenya is a massive flower-going country, especially roses. I forget the exact number, but it's something like 80% of all the UK roses come from, from Kenya. So having them grown sustainably and responsibly and putting good back into the community at the same time is a really important thing. These, obviously, I'm going to have to find a little butterfly back, aren't I, to go with that one so I can get it back in my ear. But these are my little mangrove hearts, especially for Valentine's Day. If you've seen them in the magazine, again, they're flying out of the door. So if you want them, be quick. Or if you're dropping a hint to somebody, 
Um, that's because they've got 30% off, okay? So there is a £40 saving. That's just until the end of February, so don't miss that if you want it. And you can get them either in the rose gold or the rhodium plated uh, or the yellow gold, like the ones that I've got here. And they come, just so that you know, in my little box. And I do have my own hallmark. Did you know that? Yeah, the London Assay Office. It's a little LE hallmark. So you get them just like that and with a little card of authenticity that tells you all about fair trade. They're 100% fair trade gold um, over sterling silver. So 24 karat gold over sterling silver. So very well made and I just love them. And I'm hoping to be back on the coast really soon. I'll bring you more pictures from there because this is where they come from. They come from a design that I kind of sketched a few years ago when I was down amongst the mangroves in Lamu. And the mangrove is a really interesting plant. It's one of the very few that will grow in salty water. So you get them all around the edges of the, of the uh, seashore. And they thrive in saltwater conditions. And they produce these beautiful heart-shaped leaves that have got this kind of little variegated pattern. And that's what I tried to copy um, with the design of the mangrove to make it a heart shape but also botanical so thank you very much Nikki oh Angela said I got mine last year I love them I love them too I mean I'm very fortunate obviously because I have a full set of everything so I, I wear them all the time here sometimes I'll wear the rose gold sometimes I'll be in the I put the yellow gold on because I thought this little ear cuff has got little bits of brass on it so that would work um, but these are the little they're not silver, they're rhodium plated, so they're sterling silver underneath with rhodium, which is more precious on the top. Aren't they cute? Anyway, there you go. Um, one other point perhaps about Valentine's Day, if you're dropping big hints or you want to give something. This is my travel wrap. Now, I didn't travel, obviously, with my big, thick travel wraps. But what I love about travel wrap as a company is they also make these much finer ones. So this is really fine and they make sort of silk and cashmere blends. This one's got my initials on it, and I should just repeat for a certain person watching. This stands for Liz. Oh, okay, Liz. Not Lily. No, 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 it's not Lily. It's Liz. Oh, L-E. Just putting that out there to a certain person who does tend to raid rather a lot of my things. Anyway, we do have 10% um, off with Liz Loves on the travel wrap. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, just to finish up, thank you so much for all your comments on Michael Van Clark. I thought that was fascinating, talking about thinning hair and to learn more about Michael, who's been this top leading British hairdresser for, what was it, 40 years? My goodness, he looked good in it, didn't he? And of course, one of the things that he was talking about was three more inches, rather intriguing name, and this I have been using since talking to him, which was the intense pre-wash treatment, which fortifies the hair. I mean, you can't actually see it, actually. I'll, I'll show you next week because I, I pulled my hair back here. Um, but it just sort of thickens the hair shaft. You use it before you wash your hair. So it's not like a hair mask that soaks in. It's something that works chemically with the bonds in the hair before you shampoo it. And, you know, he's got clients going back 30, 40 years. I think he first developed this. He was saying it was just developed for the salon clients about 30 years ago. He's got people who've been using it, you know, literally would not be without it. It's one of his best sellers. So he has given us 20% off. Super generous. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so, so much. Um, and for those of you who'd like to try and are thinking, mm, it looks good, but it's a bit pricey, I just wanted to point out that there is a Weekender set of minis on his website because that 20% discount runs across the whole website. Even his accessories, he's got some brilliant hairbrushes. He was talking about the importance of different hairbrushes for the hair. So if you missed it, go and take a look. It's still up on, obviously, Facebook, YouTube, and um, Liz Our Wellbeing Instagram as well. But everything, 20% off everything on his website. And there's this great little set of minis, which is fantastic if you're going away, planning on going away. You don't want to take great hefty things like this, do you? You want to take the real compact sizes, but also really good for trial. So if you want to give it a try, you know, try before you buy the full size. I think it's £12 for a set, and that contains the three top products. So you've got the pre-wash treatment, which is the one that I was talking about, the Lifesaver. 
you've got the cashmere protein moisturizing shampoo and the cashmere protein moisturizing conditioner all in a pack and you still get your 20 percent off that so if you fancy giving it a go or maybe you just love the products and think it's nice to have some travel sizes then that would be uh, the thing to go for so that is just about it for today i will be back with you live on tuesday i am super excited about Tuesday because I'm going to be continuing the conversation on something that I am personally fascinated by and I hope that you will be too. I think hopefully we're all coming along on this journey together. Nutrigenomics and continuing the conversation that I started with Tim Samuels who's the amazing brand founder of Calm Assist. Now for those of you who listen to that talking about all the different herbs, things like ashwagandha, things like maca, go to cola that I was talking about with Katie, saffron, turmeric. He mentioned this leading medic over at Harvard Medical School, so leading global top, top institution, and she is a nutritional psychiatrist. Yeah, Dr. Uma. So she is not only a conventional psychiatrist, you know, she's used to prescribing antidepressants, drugs, psychiatric drugs, all of that, and dealing with real hardcore cases. But she's also a chef, a nutritionist. She has a lot of Ayurvedic wisdom. So she's one of these fascinating people who combines the best of the West and the East and brings it together in what we're now knowing to be one of the most important things for mental and physical health, and that's epigenetics. So that is going to be coming up on Tuesday live, as long as the connectivity works, because we're going to be live in Harvard and live in Kenya and live to the UK and everywhere else in the world where you are watching. Ah, you listen to me on the, somebody else's podcast. Yeah, so I did a podcast uh, a couple of weeks ago called Postcards from Midlife with a um, lovely couple of journalists, uh, Lorraine Candy, you might know her from her menopause work. And yeah, so she had me as a guest. So it was quite interesting to have the tables turned and not be the one that was asking the questions for a change, but was having to answer them. So it's a bit um, up close and personal, that one. I hope you thought it was okay. <laughs> uh, excellent, thank you. It was a good one, was it? Oh, good, thank you so much. So where are we now? We're Thursday, if you are listening and watching in real time. Don't forget, there's a new little film up on YouTube on Lizard Well being do click the little subscribe button because youtube i find can be quite hard to navigate and sometimes it hides some of the films so do subscribe to that channel if you'd like to see more of my films on there i'm talking about travel supplements the things that i take with me uh, things like amino slim the creatine all of that stuff it's quite quite fun Tomorrow is Friday if you're watching in real time and that's the Friday Five. Uh, love that, talking about fair trade, about some of the flowers from Kenya, lots of really interesting information um, about social justice issues and all kinds of things. And then I'll be back with you, as I say, live next Tuesday uh, talking all being well with Dr. Uma Nadu from Harvard Medical School. Thank you so much. Lots of green smoothie making going on and lots of chat. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to have to cut you off now. But I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, go very well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>